Mirio's original. And welcome to Web Crawlers. This is our mailbag episode where we read your emails and play your voicemails. I am Allie Siegel. I am Melissa Stettin. And I'm producer Maria. Let's see if we have any uh, short emails that might. We got some reviews. Oh, hell yeah. Let's read those. This is from Tbald666. It says Web Crawlers is like coast to coast, but for the girls, gays, and theys. I love it. That's, That's so good. good. That's so accurate. This is from Ann Danny's. I can't believe it's taking me this long to rate and review, but holy cannoli, I love this podcast. I look forward to episodes every week. It truly is a treat to explore these wild topics and laugh along with the hosts, Allie, Melissa, and Maria. Y'all are the baddest in the game. Keep up the amazing work. Aw, thank you. This is from quiet cowgirl love the show been binging for three months now and I actually can't wait to go to work now because i listen while i'm cleaning stalls these <laughs> ladies deserve all the stars not stop laughs and spooks the best of both worlds Ooh. horse stalls maybe we belong in a toilet yeah. stall to be honest toilet <laughs> stalls <laughs> yeah <laughs> Um, here's a cool email that, uh, we get to look forward to. We'll have to contact him back. Uh, hello, I'm Jeb's friend from high school. Jeb asked me to reach out to you guys regarding the real Annabelle doll because you all had some questions. I'd be happy to discuss it with you. The only thing uh, I'd ask in return is that you plug our Paracon, the Warren Seekers of the Supernatural Paracon coming in October. It's a tribute to Ed and Lorraine that will also feature the real Annabelle. And then he gave us our information. He works for the New England Society for Psychic Research. So we definitely need to send an email. Uh, Here's another one uh, from Miriam entitled McDonald's Broken Ice Cream Machines. Hi, pals. Hope you're doing well. I discovered your podcast thanks to your episode on Elisa Lamb. My days at work go so much faster now. Uh, Thanks a lot. I've been interpelled several times listening to you, and I finally decided that it's time to contact you. What does that mean? I've been interpelled. Interpelled. Interpolated? It says interpelled. Maybe it's a typo. I don't know. Interpelled. No, it's obsolete. Interpel. It's a transitive verb. It means obsolete. I have been obsolete <laughs> several times. Fair. I'm sorry um, to hear that. Sure. Uh, your episode about McDonald's broken ice cream machines makes me think about the time that I dismantled my washing machine and found a secret manual taped inside the walls of it. Whoa. In the manual, there are instructions on which series of buttons to press to diagnose the machine. I don't know if it was secret. I think it was probably there and you just didn't realize it. Uh, Obviously, these instructions were not found in the original manual. Oh, interesting. That came with the machine. Oh, interesting. This was for the repair people. It's yeah. It says this was kept hidden for the repair person, I guess. Um, And for your information, Allie's pronunciation pronunciation of Quebec in the (laughs) great maple syrup heist was spot on. It's Quebec, not Quebec. Yes, it's both. It's both. Listen, sorry for my English. Keep on your good work. Sorry for your English. Oh, she must be French. Huh? I think she's French. Oh. Uh, but her English was perfect. So that would explain the interpelled. And I wonder what that means in French. Or oh. what. Anyways, that was a great email. Super interesting. Uh, I'll read one more. Uh, from Margo, Philip and Missy episode. A uh, big fan of the pod. You had a recent episode that took place in Ohio, and I believe Maria brought up the Mansfield Reformatory, which was uh, where the Shawshank Redemption was filmed. In case anyone wasn't aware, I live a few hours away and I've always been to chicken shit to do it myself. But they have ghost hunts that you can take part in. Maybe if you guys ever head out that way, you should check it out. They also do Haunted House around Halloween and have a virtual tour as well. Link provided. Ooh. Ooh. How fun. That's fun. All right. Should we play some voicemails? Yeah. Hell yeah. Hi, this is a message for web callers. It's Becky from Hello. England. Hello. 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 Marissa. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So, oh, if anyone in, in the Discord, my mystery holiday is to Budapest for three nights. Absolutely buzzing about that. Oh. Um, other than that, just Budapest. wanted to sort of put my two cents in on the Patreon. Okay, so do 
I don't know if you guys remember. I'm sure you had this in the, the USA as well. Do you remember when you used to watch a film? I don't think it does it anymore. At the start of the film, it'd be like, um, you wouldn't steal a car. You wouldn't you know, go to the shop yeah. and steal a bag. You wouldn't steal this. They don't steal a film. And it's like yep. about pirating and then downloading illegal films. Oh, yeah. That's what I think about when people aren't subscribing to Patreon. Wow. You wouldn't you wouldn't feel like how to <laughs> subscribe to the Patreon people. Come on. It's like a couple of pounds, a couple of dollars. Like it's nothing for hours and hours of last entertainment. Not only do you get the podcast, you get to be a part of the community on Discord. They've got Reddit, they've got mm. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, you get to be in on it. So worth it. These girls deserve it. If you're not a part of Patreon, get on it, guys. Come on. You, you spend, you know, a few dollars, a few quid on, on like, a coffee at Starbucks. Let's do it. That's all. Anyway, Thank I love you. you all. Bye. La, 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 la. Uh, <laughs> la, la, la. Do you remember this is Becky when she had that like trip that was like a surprise trip? Yeah, where did she, she end up going? Budapest or something? That was very nice. That was a great that was a a rally for people to join the Patreon. That was so nice. It really that was. was so nice. Okay, this message is for web crawlers. Yeah. I don't know what's going on, but I've seen three tiny dogs today. Um one in the public. I'm sorry, I'm sorry baby, we're picking up dog medication and we're at Walgreens. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> and now I'm laughing. Um, <laughs> and then I saw a tiny dog outside of service, and then I just saw one in the laundry. We're crying. Because why are there so many tiny dogs? Okay. <laughs> Wait, what I have kind no of idea what just tiny happened. Dogs. She's seeing tiny dogs everywhere. <laughs> That's what she's she, seeing tiny she, dogs. She's at Walmart and she just keeps seeing tiny dogs. <laughs> what a day she's having. Uh, okay. Hi, this is just for the web crawlers. Okay, can we, I need a little more um, definition on what a synchronicity is or if I'm experiencing them or not, because I just saw this really funny TikTok with this um, gentleman or John Byer person, I don't know, whatever. Um, I'm not trying to miss gender anyone, but I really like the haircut. That's my point. It's like a mullet kind of thing. It's like very, whatever, okay. But... He was talking about how he went to a concert and Rob Thomas said <gasps> that Carlos Santana called him like every night for like 20 years or something like that. Whoa. And I was, and it was, he was like making fun of like, nobody calls everyone every night like for 20 years. Like that's the thing. Whatever. That's not the point. So then I get in my car and go to my Starbucks in the morning because um, I'm a basic bitch. And wouldn't you know, I'm minding my own beeswax. And what song comes on? Well, it's a smooth one. That smooth. one song from 1999 oh, with yeah. Carlos Santana and Rob Thomas. What? Anything smooth? What? <laughs> what? Smooth. What? Yeah, what? smooth. Like, I just watched that. I get in my car and that's on. And I have serious FM. Like, okay, sure, I'm on the Pop 2K station, but is, is that or is that not a synchronicity? Or am I using the word wrong? I don't know. Uh, I would love to get some clarification on that. Thanks. Thanks. I would say so. I think I would so. Too. Why not? I would too. Yeah, I would say so. Well, it's a hot one. I just messages for the web crawlers. Um, this is Emily. I've called a few times. I just had to call you guys because I'm going to meet someone from that's like a member of the Bethel Church, the one with like the, <gasps> the clouds and oh my God. that rain gold what? dust or whatever they say happens. And it's so crazy because my friends have like told me about this person and that she was like part of this whole thing. I was like, oh my God, I listened to Web Crawler's podcast and they had an episode about it. And I sent them the episode and then we talked about it. And like, I see these two friends every week um and so <laughs> we've like talked about it randomly just since i sent them the podcast or whatever so my girlfriend texted me today and she's like oh by the way this friend that you're gonna meet is the the church one from california and i was like oh my god thank god you told me like could you believe like imagine if i said something <laughs> i would die i i would die because like that would be 
so me to just say something as a joke and then they would be like, oh my God, no, Emily, this is her. So it's just so crazy. And I obviously immediately thought of you guys. I'll report back if anything like weird happens or if she says anything, probably won't. But either way, I'll let you guys know. And I just had to tell you because I was so excited. Okay. <laughs> la, la, la. <laughs> That's crazy. Wow. A real life member of the Oh my God. Church. They How rain exciting. glitter or something, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> it's like God's tears or God's something. God's tears. God's glitter. God's come. Hey, Gary. Hi. Hey, Alana. Hey, Bailey. Hey, Webcrawlers. This is for the web crawlers. This is for the web crawlers. <laughs> I don't know if this is a thing that people know about. If you listen to the podcast at half speed, like you have the option of half speed, yes. regular speed, one and a half and two, uh, you sound like a bunch of drunkards when you do it on half speed, and I do that a lot because <laughs> uh, it's hilarious. <laughs> and Allie sounds hilarious. <laughs> so, anyway, I don't know if people do that or not, but I do so. I just want to give you a tip for the listeners a tip. <laughs> All right. We're going to have to try that out sometime. Listen to podcasts at half speed or you can do one at 1.5 speed. Or I mean, I would always speed it up, but slow it down if you feel like it. <laughs> yeah, By I all like, means. I like speeding it up. Yeah. Make the show last three hours. Hello, hi, this message is for the web crawlers. My name is Heidi. Last time I called, I was probably seeing too fast. You guys probably didn't hear me, but yeah, I was the one who called about Cryptic Core. Anyways, oh, I know oh, wow. it's Oof. coming up, and it's producer Maria's birthday. I'm not a stalker. I, you guys said it on a podcast uh, one from... time, so I just yeah. wanted to call no. uh, ahead, because it's not today, but I wanted to call ahead, because I know you guys like, like pre-record and stuff, so I just wanted to call and wish her a happy birthday Thank and you. Um, like sh- she'll have a good time and whatnot and then speaking of birthdays did you and last time the last podcast i heard you guys you guys were talking about like fast food well did you know that uh mcdonald's you can get birthday cake not all of what? the locations like birthday some, cake. some of them will have them what? i saw it on tiktok so really? you can go and just ask for a birthday cake and they what? might have it you know, you'll let her know until you go through the drive-thru and ask. So I just got on some TikTok and I figured, you know, I'll relate to that, and, but mostly just call to say, happy birthday. Feliz cumpleaños. Goodbye. Hold on. You can get I'm sending it to the chat. The this is... Yes. Oh. Whoa, that's not what I meant to send. <laughs> I meant to send Uh-oh. the URL. <laughs> <laughs> you can get it for $9. This is insane. Oh, and Ronald McDonald is on the cake. It's a sheet cake. This looks fucking good. How can I get one? McDonald's off-menu sheet cakes are available for just $9. While the price might be the right, there is a catch. The cakes aren't available at every location. How do you find out which locations have it? That This is incredible. I had And, and so it's like a white sheet cake, and then there's... Like a photo, like a printed ice icing photo of of Ronald McDonald on top of the cake. It's very basic, but it looks delicious, and it looks chocolate inside. Am I making this up? No. I wonder how do they keep them at the stores? Like, are they frozen? I it says assume? they're frozen. I'm watching. I'm reading another article. It says they're frozen. And yeah. they're like de thawed. How old old they are? Though. Definitely pretty old for sure. Because <laughs> like, who orders them? Hold on, I found the TikTok of people trying it. I'm I'm gonna send this to you guys. Oh boy! Two ads, two ads before being able to watch. Of people course, trying a McDonald's. Okay, you gotta. Fa- I just sent it to you guys. You gotta fast forward. It comes in like a white box. Damn, I want some McDonald's fries now. It's in like a lasagna tin, like a like a aluminum tin. This is wild. And then it's a chocolate cake. Let's see. Okay, I just found a secret tip. You have to go to the McDonald's that have the playgrounds. Oh, that makes sense. 
because that that's where people have the birthday sense. parties. So you got to go, you got to find a McDonald's that have, if you're listening from Los Angeles, this person wrote a review, the McDonald's at 219001 Irwin Street apparently has a cake there. Where's Irwin Street? I have no idea. That sounds like downtown LA, maybe. Good to know. Had no you idea. Learn something, learn something new every day. That's honestly like the coolest thing I've learned in maybe two years. Yeah, <laughs> it is really cool. Yeah, it's that might there. be the only new thing that I've learned in two years. <laughs> yeah, yep. Crawlers, I'm listening to um, your Philip Missy episode, and you're talking about how how small the town is that they lived in, and you're explaining it and not saying how there's nothing to do there. Oh, no. And I just picture, like, this is where Mike from 90 Day Fiance is, like, exactly, <laughs> like, squim. I picture that where, where he lives, like, squim. that type of small town. <laughs> and then I just thought of how Natalie said that driving through the woods is, like, the beginning of a horror movie like it reminded her of the beginning of a horror movie and then i remembered you guys have a 90 day fiance podcast and what happened to that i missed it i miss you guys doing that um i love you guys doing this though so keep it up <laughs> love you guys so much <laughs> yeah we stopped yeah. it it was a lot of work uh and so we stopped it who knows maybe one day we'll come back again but for now for now it's who on knows? pause yeah okay next message hey this message is for web crawlers this is amber from oregon again <laughs> are you guys tired of me yet um i just had the most weird synchronicity and i'm like i have got to call and tell you guys so my dog just had puppies. Um, she's a purebred chocolate lab, and we've got 11 purebred chocolate lab boys. They're all boys. I'm like, how does that happen? Oh, my <laughs> God. Whoa. That's not the thing for this to me. So I am taking deposits on these puppies now, and I've taken, like, four deposits. And one of the ladies, I go, well, what do you want to name your puppy? And she goes, his name's going to be Erio. What? And I'm like, are you, wait, Stop. <laughs> you listen to web crawlers? And she's like, yes. <gasps> I'm like, oh, my God, what a weird, like, random thing, you know, for these puppies. And I'm like, I'm making friends because of your podcast. <laughs> so thanks for that. Uh, That's crazy. Oh, my Eerios. God. That's it's insane. insane. <laughs> That's a synchronicity for That's sure. That's crazy. That's a good name for a dog, though. Eerios? Eerios. That's Eerios. cute. I hope it has big ears. It's yeah. it's crazy that like I mean the, that Uber driver was yeah. listening to web crawlers when yeah. your friend was in. My mom told me the other day she got uh, lunch with my cousin and my cousin's wife, and that my cousin's wife was like, I was talking to someone at work and they mentioned the podcast <laughs> web crawlers, and I was like, isn't that Allie's podcast? Like people Whoa. do randos wow. do listen. Like it's not just <laughs> like <laughs> us. We're not like randos speaking into listen. a void. Yeah. Randos listen to Web our podcast. Crawlers. Randos do listen. What is, someone named their chickens after you and Amanda. Because they're yeah, the, big, the Amanda, big ones. They were the big that chickens, nice? I guess. Yeah. Marie and Amanda, the chickens. Because y'all are a bunch of chicken heads. This <laughs> message is for the web crawlers. I'm calling um, at the behest of my roommate. Um, she did not believe me the other day when I told her that I have in fact seen two vampires in real life. And then she insisted, and I was not alone on those instances. Um, obviously, we're both when I lived in New York City, obviously. Um, and I texted both of the people that were with me that witnessed the vampires, and they confirmed. Um, and she then was said I needed to call into web Whoa. callers about it. So... Yeah, the first one I saw, I was on um, the five train headed home with my roommate, and he, we were, like, hanging around, like, not doing too much, and it was an empty-ish train, and we were far enough away from this very tall, very pale, chiseled man, <laughs> and he was, like, listening to music, quote-unquote, and at one point, I was like, hey, so-and-so, do you think that guy's, like, a vampire or something? And he goes, oh, he's for sure a vampire. I whispered it. Like, it was whispering. And the vampire cocked his head and looked at us, licked his lips. And then I was like, oh, Derek. 
Oh, that's what you're going to say. I was going to say it. Well, okay, so I was like, Derek, we're going to die. And then thankfully they got off. <laughs> Doubles down. And then I stopped <laughs> because I was pretty sure that they were going to kill me. And it, of course, was nighttime, obviously. <laughs> the second time I witnessed the vampire, I was walking with my friend. <laughs> and we were in the West Village, like, my hair would be black. I don't know what we were doing. It was, like, sunset, though. Like, the sun had set behind the buildings. Um, or maybe, yeah. I'm just trying to think what direction we were walking in. Anywho, so okay. the sun was setting, and we walked by this patio, and there was a man, no joke, pale as pale as pale as this could be, like greasy looking, widow's peak, long hair, velvet jacket, but it's middle of June, like end of June. It's hot outside. He has like a ruffly white shirt and like one of those like weird like or- like orangey cravats, if you will. Whoa. And he was drinking a glass of quote wine unquote. And I was like, holy shit, that was a vampire. And my friend was like, oh my god, I gotta see. Like I missed it because she was like drinking going on about something. So then she backtracked because she like dropped something quote unquote. And we went back and she looked at him. He made eye contact with us, licked his lips. Oh. Um, so gross. That's my hot take. <laughs> vampires are real. I've seen two of them. Whoa. Oh, and the wine was like thick. I probably should have said that. My, my roommate, who I told the story to you last night, was like, "Um, because I'm a bad storyteller." Um, so I just wanted to say that uh, vampires are real, hundred percent. I've seen two in my life in my short, very. <laughs> then it ends. Gross drinking. She must have some yeah. sweet blood. Drinking like a Riesling during the day, like a warm <laughs> wine. <laughs> In a velvet so suit. Gross. Hey, this is a message for the web crawlers. Um, hey. I'm just leaving a message about a mm. synchronicity I have. Um, I always tell my boyfriend about them and he doesn't give a shit. So <laughs> so I call you guys. <laughs> um, basically, I was on a podcast with work. I worked at a brewery. Um, we're like an organic brewery. And it's really fancy. But then on this podcast, I had a couple of drinks before, and I ended up talking about McDonald's, which is awful because we're like an organic brewery. Um, and I've been really stressed. I'm like, God, we're talking about. And I've been really stressing about the fact that I talked about McDonald's on this podcast. And then I turn on Web Pluralism, and the episode is about the McFlurry machines and McDonald's. And I ended up feeling like, okay, you know, I'm not wow. the only girl in the world that just loves the mcdonald's so you know it's fine and then you guys go on to talk about how may 19th is the mcdonald's strike day which i completely support and everyone should be paid a legal wage but it's my birthday on that day and like what if i want to have a meal on my birthday anyway i just thought that was weird a bit of a synchronicity there mcdonald's my birthday anyway bye guys love you wow wow that's crazy that is is a synchronicity well, that's, that's bananas. the last voicemail I have for the day. Oh, that's amazing because I have to poo and take a nap. <laughs> oh, brother. Cool. Cool. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, uh, please continue to email us and leave us voicemails. We love to hear from you guys. And please rate and review us on Apple Podcasts and um, join our Patreon if you feel like it. I am Allie, too much information, Siegel. I am Melissa, um, not a vampire, Stetton. <laughs> and I'm producer Maria, secret birthday cake, Blasucci. Ooh. Ooh, bye. Bye. Original. Powered by ACAST.